out of the whole place and gone over a bridge and war. Report it to the police then. Two men get shot. Right out of a while ago. See there? See all one of them on here? See police them there. And they are gone over a bridge, you know. See police them are run blood clot go where they look there. Police them now nah, run down the gunman them in a but make a Gaza and them careful of blood clad passenger. Them run down Gaza and all the weird thing back to. See that? Bumbo clad. Be a badness. Yeah, 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 Shot a fire like, whoa! Police them pull up out there, so I look at police them run down, the man them gone over the bridge, they move the child on them down my blood clot. I'm going to call them me with my car load. Pshhh, pop, pee, pop, pee, pop, pee, pop. Que pasa, suck, passe, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. This one is called, it seems as if we have to change the name of the JCF Jamaica Constable Force to the JTF Jamaica Taxi Force, meaning that their only sole priority. The era in which gets the most attention, the most manpower, the most resources is them running down, chasing down taxi man and people. Taxi men, minibus men in a Jamaica, they are menace to society, just like the criminal, most of them speaking in general. The audio or the video or the audio from the video that you heard in this is of an incident that took place brawling broad daylight in which there was some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out between the poor poor and some gunmen, bad men. Me no know the circumstance that led to it. However, after the smoke clear, the only persons that were injured were two innocent people going about their business in this town. However, the people kind of perplexed because they must say, yeah, the poor poor a pie pie up after the gunman. Them see the direction in which the gunman went. Me no know if the gunman them have some sorts of AK, some sorts of M to the 16 or what. This poor poor decides, say, listen, we are going to abandon the chase. We are going to leave it right here. So put it on pause and come back. Live to tell the story the next day. So the person that you hear recording, obviously he was probably a taxi man of some sort of belly or he was probably just telling the truth. He must say to himself, then hold on a minute. How much video we see gone viral on social media in which poor poor a run down taxi man Poor, poor, lick down people, taxi man, lick down people. The chase is never going to stop until them apprehend or hold somebody or somebody. D-E-A-D. -E However, when them inner any sorts of contention with real, real criminal, and I am not saying the taxi man or mini minibus man, them, now nah, do not that is criminal. Them now nah, stop them persistent. They are going to put in every effort when it comes to that. But when it comes to gunmen, it seems as if them put it on pause. Them no want nothing to do with it. Them don't want no part of the smoke. What is even worse, after the smoke clear, two people injured. The poor poor them over there so I mind them own business. The people them I tell them say, they no sister that man I get caught up. You know sister that woman I get caught up. Them now nah make no sorts of arrangement. Them look dazed and confused. Such is the case as the people them were pretty much dead. Now people, you know, say, me I talk about the victim, them will get caught up in a them foot and all over them body. You know, so because of YouTube's policy, it would be easier for me to show these videos. But because of YouTube's policy, and me is not one of them beggar, blogger, me now I'm going to show it. However, I am going to put it in my WhatsApp. The number there, one 894 2711 just say you want to see the video with the poor poor them and the G U N M E N in a pie pie out and innocent people get hit. Leave your name, you want to join the group. No call me, no video call me. Simple message, text message, you want to join the group. I will answer ASAP. I am busy. The vacation, kind. 
So anyways, people, as soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Further on in the news. So I got a couple of videos and some pictures. In the picture, the caption simply read, Cola, Kitty Cat, the Go Go Club boss, got conned up and taken out in a Salem. Apparently, there were some sorts of F-A-T-A-L-S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G at a club, strip club, scripper club named Winners. However, it seems as if everybody was not winning on that specific day. Based on what I'm hearing is that this person, well, people, some people said the person named Kitty Cat or Cola Kitty Cat, the Go Go Club boss. However, when I'm listening to the video or the audio in the video, the people must say this is the third time him. Now, people, if you're familiar with the Jamaican dialect, you know, it's a country people call she, him, and him, him. So I'm going to let you take a listen, take a look to some audio or videos that are out there with persons on the scene explaining everything in intricate detail. This is the edited version because of YouTube's policy. You know, say, me have to water down the thing. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. I don't know what go on it, but just a reason I can take my investigation, I know that's what I go on, doesn't it? Keep the fans up updating. Lisa, what happened? Church of Father, God. Oh boy, second or third time, they might get shot, you know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I call like you're dead so easy. I'm still alive. I say, I'm gone this time, Arthur. Yeah. So they say, I don't know what you know, news spread already. I did say last time, I'm in this. I, eh. I third time, I'm cool, I did. Mm. Jesus Christ. Now, people, this is my disclaimer before I proceed. Like I said, I heard that Cola, OC, aka Kitty Cat, the Go Go Club boss, got taken out in or at or in front of Winners Go Go Script Club. I thought that it was a man based on this man's talking. However, like me say, in a some country place, him or she and him or him. Especially when you hear the man say, Massa, you know that that person is from deep rural, in a some sorts of bush bush era. So, therefore, Cola, OC, Kitty Cat might be somebody with an actual Kitty Cat, I think. Now, people, like I said, based on the videos and the pictures that I saw, it did not look very hopeful for this lady, Miss Kitty Cat Cola. The go go boss. However, like you heard the man in the video said, this lady was conned up at least two times before. This lady was pronounced D E A D by John Public before. However, you and I know that it is only a professional doctor that can pronounce anybody D E A D. So, therefore, based on her history, Based on the fact that it seems as if she always finds herself in a some sorts of predicament and come out, I can only hope or expect that this might be the case in this case. Or is it a fact that the third time is probably not a charm? It is more like a curse, a curse of D-E-A-T-H. That is yet to be determined. So the other day, I was on vacation in a Jamaica and some people asked me, when you come back up, see if you can get some that Jamaican rum fruit cake. So people, me go out and me look, me go a couple of places, me buy a couple of pieces, sample a couple of pieces, and them taste like trash. I even ordered from a reputable place in which everybody I give all sorts of rave review, and I said, kind of tastes like trash. It was okay. It was average. So then somebody when me know, we live in Jamaica, know the place, know everything, every kind of people. Them link me and them I say, I know one lady, you know, we have, I met them kind of cake there and trust me, it is the B-O-M-B. -B. So I say, all right, make some sorts of arrangement, let me get at least two of them. However, me no want to spend my money, waste my money upon any sorts of trash cake. People, when me get the cake, me not tell no lie, you know, say me not endorse any sorts of F-U-C-K-R-Y. As a matter of fact, this is probably the only thing that I've ever endorsed, including music or artists. However, I was so impressed. 
I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to what this person has to say promoting their cake and then I am going to give my piece. Hi, my name is Simone and good afternoon. Today we're introducing you to Aunt Glenna's rum and fruit cake. So we're at a cake tasting today and we have had some of the best tasting cake from Aunt Glenna's. And we want you to come closer as and look how moist the cake is. Call her at WhatsApp at 876-456-0773 and order your cake now for birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, and you won't be disappointed. Now, people, like I said, I am not in the business of endorsing or promoting anything. However, I was very impressed. With this cake, with the taste, the texture, everything. It tastes where cake is supposed to taste like. It tastes like kind of cake where your granny used to make. However, it seems as if a pure garbage out there. Even the big name company and the big name people that are on social media, them taste average at best. This is not the case in this case. So people, the number like me say, 1876 Jamaica number, 456073. 1-876-456-0773. Call them, make your order, people. Serious inquiries only. No sorts of loose or idle talk. And a grata bread, the people, myself. So, therefore, if you want cheap stuff, me not think so you need to call them. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, this is a public service announcement. Whenever you see the special ops, Paul Paul go into any sorts of garrison and they go for any specific individual. Even if that individual is a teenager, the truth and the fact is that most of the M-U-R-D-E-R-S that are committed in a Jamaica serious crimes are by persons in a them teen and early 20. As a matter of fact, in a most area, the top S-H-O-O-T-E-R-S are below the age of 18. That means that them start the F-U-C-K-R-Y very early. Such is the case of a 17-year-old K-I-L-L-E-R shortest that was charged a couple of days ago for an incident that occurred back in March. March 12th to be specific. A 30-something-year-old man was standing along the roadway at Chancery Lane when he was pounced upon by a couple of men. The hitman, trigger man, was a 17-year-old. He was held, he was arrested. Not immediately. He was held and arrested for an ex-S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G and attempted takeaway. So therefore, he was in custody at the time the Popo launched the investigation as it pertains to Mr. Palmer's death on the 12th of March, 2024. This 17-year-old has multiple S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G-S and his name is called upon a whole bunch of people losing their life at 17. So we could say that this youth is off to a very quick start. He is not a late bloomer. We could say more than likely this youth, by the time he reaches age 20, if he's not gone, he is going to be as cold as can be. Hopefully, these popo can solve a lot of these cold or not so cold cases and keep this youth exactly where he belongs. However, you and I know that Jamaica court, the system of justice, is very sympathetic. So therefore, whenever he goes in front of some sorts of judge or get any sorts of high-profile lawyer, they are going to go in front of the judge and he is or they are going to convince this judge that, listen, this man or this youth just come from some sorts of dysfunctional family. All he needs is proper structure. He has a chance to change. There is some sort of chance of redemption, people. Chances are, when they start out this cold, they only get colder and colder. Alaska.
people like me say, never give up hope. However, sometimes stuff that seems hopeless, sometimes some people don't deserve a next chance. They need to be boss like Malone, meaning sent to the afterlife or stay in the big yard. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.